Hello again, this is Edmonds Saunders. Today I have a situation where I need to plug these European 35 millimeter holes, hinge holes, in these doors. And I need to get the job done. I got to order these, find these plugs they make it. It's about seven cent fifty for a set of two. And I got I needed 20 of them. So this is what I came up with. I'll just show you. So instead of buying all these kits, waiting for them, essentially what I did is uh, the 35 millimeters is pretty much inch and three eighths. So, oh, just a second, one more plug. Yeah, one more plug, one more. So this is inch and three eighths, classic, close the rod from the, uh, Home Depot or something, so you can do maybe a miter saw or a table saw, but I'm using a band saw, set up the depth about less than half an inch. Keep on feeding it in, keeping it feeding in real quick. 20 plugs, no problem. See, beautiful plug. Material is super cheap. So I don't know how much it costs, but probably six foot stick or eight foot stick cost maybe, I don't know, six, eight bucks or something like that. So let's see. And it fits pretty snug in there. And I already have done these doors right here so here we go this is what I do a little dab of glue at the bottom okay maybe a little bit on the sides plug fits pretty tight in there so I'm not stressing too much on the glue okay just put the plug in right. doesn't matter really which way the grain goes One the other way, it's got to fit. And just a little tap of the hammer. Right there. And it's just right about within the 30 seconds or even 64 of the top. I'll hit with a little bit of this sander and it should be good. So if you're on a job, in a bind, you need to plug a hole, that's for mostly for cabinet guys, of course. That's my solution, okay? Until the next time, hopefully it helps. See you, bye.